Okay, in this video we're checking out this tiny uh, 400 EC from HackRC. This is a 16 by 16 size, 10 amps, uh, BL Heli S, so uh, 1 to 2S and D-Shot 600 capable. And this thing is uh, super thin, super tiny, 16 by 16 size, M2 holes, and uh, it doesn't come with a hole out here, so we got a uh, JST connector. As we said that would go right there, your battery leads there. You get some nylon screws and standoffs for mounting. Uh, and you get this wiring loom here. And interestingly, this goes to the flight controller. And then this other side here, you'll have to solder. And this is probably one of the downsides of this particular ESC is there's no connector anywhere in here. You can see it's very thin. You have to take this wire, wiring loom, and solder it to these really tiny pads here. So you're going to have to be a pretty good expert solderer <laughs> to get these on here. I think even for my skill level I'm going to find this pretty challenging. So that's uh, kind of a, something I think that I'm going to suggest that they change and instead put a connector on this one for a future revision. And if you're wondering what the outputs are, there's a little sticker in the box that this came with. Let me see if I can get that to focus in the camera. So those little pads right there correspond to these right here. And so you can see the labeling of the motor outputs there and then uh, motor 1 be that one over there, motor 2 and then motor 3 and motor 4. So that's, on, that's a little sticker that's on the bottom of the box. So it's all, you know, it's all fairly self uh, self-explanatory. Just I think it, you're going to need a some skill to be able to get this wiring loom on there and obviously this will go into your uh, flight controller. Um, you can probably uh, connect this up to like a Stupor S F4 flight controller so you have obviously matching 16 by 16. There's not a whole lot of options out there for 16 by 16 flight controllers and I do know that a lot of the ECs out there uh, before uh, were like 5 amps, like the Super Super uh, F, F3, F4, or 5 amp uh, foreign ACs. So this is going to give you a little bit more motor options, prop options, to get um, a little bit more power out of your ultralight micro setup. So this is really what this is targeting. So you're going from a 5 amp to a 10 amp, so you're going to be able to go to some, maybe some bigger motors, some bigger props, like 3 inch props, for example, instead of 2 inch props. Uh, that's just uh, one, one case. But yeah, this is a pretty new product. Um, you know, probably going to take uh, something that has a super uh, SF4 in it, swap out the ESC for this one and probably put it into a different frame. I think I got something that's on a uh, two inch setup. I'm probably gonna put that to a different frame and see how this flies on a three inch setup. So that'll be in a future video. It's just an overview. Obviously, uh, you know, BLES ESC, only two S capable. So uh, yeah, it's really really meant for your ultralights. Uh, probably gonna need some sort of high KV like a 1104 7500 kV on say a 3 inch prop on 2S I think uh, something like that would fly pretty good. So if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments below on which you'd like to see this in. I'm probably going to put this in that and then I have a new Ascent uh, Ascent X uh, light frame which is for 3 inch. I think they'll take a 16 by 16 stack. So uh, if I don't have any suggestions I'll probably do that. Uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll be on the lookout for that video in the near future.